Please excuse my hair. I know I look like a cat's asshole, but anyway. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Kylie, and today I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone video. I recently just got the iPhone 6s. Before I had the iPhone 6, my babysitting kid or nanny kid, whatever you call it, broke my phone, so the family actually bought me a new one. I'm very grateful for that. This phone is the iPhone 6s in white. This is the iPhone 6s in silver, and I don't know, I just love the silver. It matches with everything, and I'm very weird and picky with things matching, so I just got the silver. I should probably move over. Slide to the right. So I'm just going to open up the phone with my finger. You just, like, click in and it opens now. And at the top, I have calendar, photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, FaceTime, note. What's in my notes? Last time, there was some good shit. These are the chocolates and candies that the U.S. doesn't have, and I'm sending them to Erica in our little box swap. I have YouTubers. I think that was for a video before it was a long time ago then i have itunes store app store reminders contacts safari google maps settings and then a little folder so there's videos stocks ibooks mail health calculator watch the good shit like i said in my other video wallet podcast voice memos tips find friends and music i don't use music because i have another app that's free music so i ain't about that 14.99 life so on the other page i have instagram snapchat twitter facebook messenger tumblr vine Blah, 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 blah. So for my Instagram, I'll just show you guys. Everyone usually opens their Instagram. So my Instagram is just my name and my last name, Kylie Ricciardi. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm attempting to do a kind of theme with like white, but girl, I ain't good at that. Then I have Snapchat. This is my personal Snapchat, but I do have a YouTube Snapchat, which is just Kylie Leah, my username, but without a space in between. I'll just show all my usernames on the screen. Then I have Twitter, and I have two Twitters. One is my personal Twitter, and one is my other Twitter. Honestly, don't care if you follow me on both because whatever, but just my personal Twitter which is showing right now this one i do not tweet about youtube things but my other one i do and i also have my boyfriend's twitter then i have facebook which is personal i just have my family and friends or people that i'm not really friends with anymore because you know high school does to you then i have messenger which is for facebook i have tumblr which i actually sometimes use when i'm bored okay got my new phone so it won't log me in until i actually type that in my tumblr is just mickeys and hickeys i thought it was pretty clever you know like mickeys of vodka hickeys of like you know bitch we know <laughs> and i have vine and i don't really know what my username is and i just got this phone so clearly mm, it's not there then i have gmail which i have my youtube gmail which i get sponsorships and all that kind of stuff in there and then i have my personal email for jobs and stuff then i have pinterest and pinterest i actually use sometimes <laughs> my name's not there so i'll just insert it then i have youtube which i don't know I make YouTube videos if you guys didn't know. I literally said that in my other video. Why am I so original? Then I have Studio, which is YouTube Studio app that everyone has if you make videos, and it just shows like my recent comments and stuff like that. Then I have YouTube Count, which I look at literally every single day, sometimes multiple times a day because I'm like, oh my god, how many people subscribed to me? Ha. But I did gain over 30 subscribers from my last video. Low key promo to Erica Lynn, who is also on my subscriber count. Then I have Period Tracker, which is, you know, every girl pretty much should have this. It's very, very, very handy. How many days do I have left? 25 days. Shut up, Sierra. Google Translate comes in very, very handy when you go away. I use it when I was in Cuba a lot. Then I have Followers Plus, which just shows me how many people unfollowed me on Instagram. Shows who's not following me back, who's blocking me, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I caught you. Then I have Musical.ly. I don't use Musical.ly. I don't think I ever will. I just have it because some of my friends, siblings make Musical.ly. My sister used to. I don't know. I just watch random people on there. Then I have Daily Horoscope, which I rarely ever look at because apparently NASA came up with another horoscope sign that is supposed to I don't know I'm just some random shit now I still listen to my Capricorn one if I ever do look at this because on this app I don't think they have that new one then I have Duolingo which is a language app Duolingo is an app where you can learn different languages right now I'm learning Spanish shut up babe but there's a lot of different languages you can choose from to learn then I have booking.com which is probably gonna say my location if I open it but when I go on trips or when I go to hotels or Toronto or something and I want a hotel it's very easy to just book on there and cancel there and I'm like the queen of canceling hotels because I'm such an indecisive person. Then I have photography which is basically all my editing apps and all that fun jazz. I have Facetune, Visco, Flickr, Photo Wonder, Leo, and Afterlight. If you guys want a video on how I edit my Instagram photos, I will totally do that for you guys. Flickr, I just put all my photos in there when I have, oh my god, these are so old. This is me when I was in like, oh, two years ago. <laughs> Where are my eyebrows? What the <laughs> But if you don't have a lot of storage on your phone, you have like an 8 gigabyte iPhone C or 5C, whatever the hell that is, or 16 gigabytes and you have so much music, literally just get Flickr, upload all of your photos from your photo app onto Flickr, and then there you go, you got space on your phone. Photo Wonder, I don't know, if you want to make your eyes a little bright in your photos, I don't really use it. Leo is 
the Instagram layout pretty much, blah, 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 blah. And after light, I never use. I don't know why I have it. Boomerang, I've never used, but I see a lot of people on Instagram post those like moving pictures or moving videos, and I thought it was really cool. I just really don't know how to use it and never tried. Then I have a shopping folder, which is Shoppers, Kijiji, Depop, Wanello, and Wish. Shoppers just shows me what kind of makeup's on sale and gives me coupons, shows me how many Aquaman points I have. Kijiji is a local thing in Canada. I don't know if they have it in the US. It's kind of like Craigslist, but it's our Craigslist. We also have Craigslist, but this is a lot more popular. So you just use it to sell things and buy things. And then Depop, I do have a Depop. I'm trying to sell my prom dress. If you guys think my prom dress something that you would wear then you guys should hit me up and buy it I bought it for over 300 bucks and I'm selling it for like $100 or OVO whatever then Winello I have never bought anything off of Winello before I might list my Winello if you guys want to know it comment down below and I'll comment it back to you I don't use Winello that much I just think it's really cool for outfit inspirations and then wish I actually do use I buy things on wish and I love wish I don't want to swipe this thing up. I hate iOS 10. But I don't know. There's a lot of cool things on Wish. And I have bought some makeup from there. And Erica got me a shirt from our swap box. Which you guys will see once I send her stuff to her. I'm waiting for her stuff to come in. But yeah. Their stuff is really, really cheap. And it's actually pretty good. It just sucks that it takes over a month to get to you. But then I have health. And this is when I go to the gym. I went to the gym Monday. And I don't think I'm going to go back for another week. Because I literally can't walk. Which is why I'm just going to film all day. You know, like, all that lactic acid. I'm just pretending I know what I'm saying. But girl, I cannot walk. I have seven, which is like a seven minute workout only gives you full body which kind of sucks because you can't do upper body lower body blah, blah 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 unless you buy it but full body workouts I'm not complaining and then abs and core which is just for abs and core so I don't know pretty good then at the bottom I have iMusic and this is the app that I use that gives me free music it uses data and Wi-Fi if you are searching for a song that you haven't played before but if you've already played it on your data or Wi-Fi then it caches it so if I don't have Wi-Fi or data I can listen to any song that's in my history it has the top 100 and every single different genre of music music and I love it so much especially the Latino because like your girl wishes she was a Latino low-key and then I have phone I'm not gonna open it because it's gonna show a whole bunch of phone numbers messages and TD Canada which is my bank just to check on how much money I have in the bank because I'm still broke and still in debt over a thousand dollars okay so I totally forgot to describe my background but my background on my phone is just my boyfriend and I and it was like my thumbnail for my boyfriend tag and then the background that I have here I'll move an app so you guys can see it the background on my home screen is just my boyfriend when he was a little boy I think he looks so cute so so that was it for my updated what's on my iPhone video. Just let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a, how I edit my Instagram photos because I'll totally do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.